My dear students, welcome to week five of unit three of our English language and literature for grade seven. This week, we are going to start it by drafting the third body paragraph in your explanatory essay. The word wall is going to include peel model, point, explanation, evidence, example, link, thesis, explanatory, um, expository and essay. We're going to watch a video about um, hamburger model, uh, what do we use it for, and how do we draft and write our body paragraphs. You will have an interactive activity uh, related to the video. After that, we're going to watch a video about an explanatory essay body paragraph. Let me fix this for a second. Body three. Okay. Um, then you will have another interactive activity related to that. You will have further practice. Let me show you what the further practice is about. It's about uh, expository a writing quiz. Um, it's a worksheet and you will have the answers with the questions to make sure that you answer them correctly. After that, you will have a challenging question. Your challenging question is going to be to add devices, literary devices and figurative language to your writing. You will have a self-assessment quiz. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to start drafting the conclusion of your explanatory essay. As for lesson two, you're going to draft the conclusion of your explanatory essay. Our word wall is going to include conclusion, resolution, conclude, restate, thesis, punctuation. We're going to watch a video about how to write the conclusion of an, uh, an explanatory essay. You will have an interactive activity related to that for sure about uh, the explanation text features keys. Okay, after that, you're going to have another video about explanatory essay conclusion and you will have a checklist okay to make sure that you uh, did everything that you need to do inside your explanatory essay okay you will have an interactive activity further practice and for the challenging question how is an expository topic sentence different than a persuasive topic sentence what's the difference between them you will have a self-assessment and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to start adding transitional phrases and words to your writing. After that, we're going to have peer evaluation for uh, yeah, lesson three. You're going to evaluate your writing and your peers and you're going to reflect on the task. Our word wall is going to include peer evaluation, reflection, language and power, message, lesson and main idea. You will have a PowerPoint presentation for this lesson and you will have a tutorial that will help you understand peer evaluation and its importance. You will have um, an interactive activity and you're going to watch a video about the secret to giving great feedback the way we work. For interactive activity too, you are going to start um, assessing your own work and reflecting on your own work by answering seven questions. You will have further practice and challenging question. Uh, you're going to click on the image and try to arrange uh, a story based on plot structure. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to start your second draft. We will have, this week we'll have another explicit, which is collecting, recording, and verifying data. Um, our word wall is going to include collect, record, verify, data, research. We're going to watch a video about research skills, and then you are going to uh, have an interactive activity uh, with FET interactive simulations, where you are going to choose uh, an activity and you're going to collect, record, and verify data through research. You're going to watch a video about data validation and you're going after that to create a poster on the data you collected in the previous activity. 
Uh, for the challenging question, I would like you to find out what does the acronym OPVL stand for and why is it important? Then you will have further practice. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to revise everything you took by clicking the picture to take you to an activity. Now let's start with uh, lesson five in week five. Uh, you're going to read and annotate. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, our word wall is going to include short story, irony, permit, release, contact, and context clues. You're going to watch a video about thank you, ma'am, short story, and you will have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to watch a short film adapted from thank you, ma'am, story, and this is going to help you to start drafting your, uh, your play script, which is going to be taken from thank you, ma'am, story. You will have an, another interactive activity, further practice. And for the challenging question, I would like you to analyze Mrs. Jones' character. How did she become the person she is now? You'll have a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to underline the dialogue in the story because it's going to be very important in lesson six. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.